पेज नंबर थर्टीन बुक सिक्स चैप्टर नंबर वन क्वेश्चन नंबर एट देर वर फोर्टी टू पीपल्स इन अ क्लास एट फर्स्ट आफ्टर सिक्स बॉयज लेफ्ट द क्लास देर वर थ्री टाइम्स एज मैनी गर्ल्स एज बॉयज हाउ मैनी गर्ल्स वर देर इन द क्लास बॉयज जेड एंड सिक्स बिकॉज जेड इज अ टोटल नंबर ऑफ बॉयज वी डोंट नो द नंबर दैट हाउ मैनी बॉयज वर देयर सो वी जस्ट सपोज द जेड एंड सिक्स बॉयज वर लेफ्ट and the number of girls three times it means 3z so the total number is 42 now we have to find out z the value of z 42 minus 6 42 total number six boys left and four is the z 1 2 3 4 now 42 minus 6 is 36 36 divided by 4 is 9 it means that z is equals to 9 Now we have three z because three times girls three z, so three and the value of z is nine. Three nines are twenty-seven. It means that there were twenty-seven girls in the class. Page number fourteen. Practice what problem number one? Ahmed is eight centimeter tall. H is the suppose value. He is twenty centimeter taller than his younger brother. But thirty-five centimeter shorter than his father. Find the height of Ahmed's younger brother in term of h. Find the height of Ahmed's father in term of h, and then here Ahmed is one forty-seven. In number C, they give the height of Ahmed in centimeter. Find their average. So first, find the height of Ahmed's younger brother in terms of h. He is. Twenty centimeter taller than his younger brother. It means h minus twenty. Find the height of Ahmed's father in terms of h. Ahmed's father is thirty-five centimeter shorter than his height. It means h plus thirty-five. Ahmed is one forty-seven centimeter tall. Find the average of their heights. To find the average of their height, we have a complete solution. H is one forty-seven. It means the height of Ahmed is one forty-seven. H minus twenty. First, we have to find out the height of Ahmed's brother, father. Then we are going to take the average of all the numbers. So, H minus twenty is one forty-seven minus twenty is one twenty-seven. H plus twenty is One forty-seven plus thirty-five. Right, we have right here. H minus twenty. H minus plus thirty-five. So this, and then we have to find the average. So we are going to add A, B, and C is Ahmed's height. One twenty-seven plus one eighty-two plus one forty-seven. When we add all the numbers, we get answer four fifty-six, which is divided by three. Because we have three values, one, two, three. Four fifty-six divided by three is one fifty-two. So one fifty-two is the average height of all of them. Question number two is: In a tank, there are k angelfishes and four times as many guppies as angelfish. There are also three more goldfishes than guppies in the tank. There are thirty fishes in the tank in total. How many gold fishes are there? So first, we are going to write k angle fishes four times as many guppies as angle fishes. So four times means four k plus four k. Four times guppies and four times angle fish, and three more gold fish. So plus three. Now. There were total thirty fishes in the tank. Now we have to add all the case four, eight, and here we have one. If we don't have any number, so we are going to count this as one. Four, eight, nine. Nine k plus three and is equals to thirty. Thirty is the total number. Now we are going to take this three separate here. So here it is. Of addition, and when we change the place, 
the sign will also change and it will become subtraction. 30 minus 3 is 27. 9k is equal to 27. Now we have to separate this k and we are going to take this 9 here. So 27 divided by 9. Here it is multiply and after changing the place it is dividing. 9 divided by 27 is 3. So k is equal to 3. Now we have to find there are 30 fishes in the tank. How many goldfish are there? So 4k plus 3. 4k means 4 and k is equal to 3 and then 3. 4 3 is a 12 plus 3. 12 plus 3 is 15. It means among of these 30, 15 fishes are goldfish. Number 3 is there were m peoples in a class at first. After a week, 4 more people joined the class. Find the numbers of people in the class after a week in terms of m. There were 40 people in the class after a week. How many people were there in the class at first? So first we have to write the m is the number of people in the class first. 4 more m means m plus 4. 4 more four more people join so m plus 4 total number is 4 now we have 40 people in the class so 40 minus 4 is 36 it means m is 36 now there were 36 people in the class at first so the answer of number a is m plus 4 means number of people plus four num four peoples add and the answer of number b 40 people in the class first how many peoples were there in the class at first so 40 minus 4 is 36 number 4 is Ginny used two bottles of mango syrup and nine liters of water to make a mango drink there were 9 liters of mango syrup in each bottle and she then poured the mango drink equally into 20 glass. What was the volume of the mango drinks? Give your answer in terms of N. There were 2 liters of mango syrup in each bottle. How many mango drinks did Zinni make in all? So first, we have to write the volume of mango drinks in each class in the term of n so here volume of liquid 2n plus 9 because we have two bottles and 9 liter of syrup so 2n plus 9 divide all the liquids with 20 parts because we have 20 glass part mean glass so 2n plus 9 divided by 20 this is the first term of the answer what was the volume of mango in each class so this is the volume now we have there were two liters of mango syrup in each bottle how many drinks did Zinni make in all number of bottles two so here we have take this 2n plus 9 so 2 n is 2 liter and then 9 2 2 is a 4 4 plus 9 is 13 it, it means that how much mango drink did Zini make in all Zini make 13 liter mango drink in all so here I am solving the remaining pages from chapter 1 book 6a Mind workout page number 15. The figure below is made up of 8 squares and its parameter is 36 p centimeter. What is the parameter of each square? So, to find the parameter of each square, we simply divide this 36 with 12. 12, the total sides 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 36 divided by 12 is 3p. Now we are going to multiply this 3p with 4 because we have a square and a square is having 4 sides. So 3 4 is a 12. It means the parameter of each square is 12p centimeter. 
Number B is CT rearrange the 8 squares to form a figure with the greatest possible parameter. What is the parameter of the figure formed? So, the biggest parameter of the figure formed is we have. So, here we have arranged the 8 squares in the different shape so we can get the parameter more than the 12 so let's see how many parameters we get 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 so we get more parameters than the first one now we simply have to multiply 18 with 3p this answer 18 with 3p so 18 multiplied by 3p is 54p the parameter of the figure formed is 54p centimeter now here we have the maths journal on page number 16 in each of the following statement correct 2a plus 1 is the same as 1 plus 2 yes because it is it is correct because there is a balance in equation both side number b 3b plus 4 is the same as 4b plus 3 3b plus 4 4b plus 3 no because here we have 3b and here we have 4b so we can easily see the difference because there is no balance in the equation 3b is not equal to 4b number c c multiplied by c is 2c no because there is no balance in c multiplied by c or 2c number d is 5d plus 2 is the same as 7d so it is not equal because these are two different numbers and this is a complete different no because 5d plus 2 is not 7d we cannot add the variables value with the numbers The numbers having the alphabet it's called the variable value 6e divided by 5 is same yes because 6e divided by 5 and it is also 6e divided by 5 page number 17 simplify each of the following here we have to separate the variables and numbers 9a plus 2a and then 5 plus 7 9 plus 2 11 5 plus 2 5 plus 7 12 Again, we have to separate the variables and separate the numbers, then add or subtract the number. Here I have solved all the questions. Page number 18, find the parameter of each of the following in terms of x. 4 plus 2 plus x. So, we cannot add the number into the variables. So, we are going to add these two. 2 and here we have 1 2 plus 1 3 again we have 2x 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 and 2x so the answer is 8x here we have 8 uh, 2x x1 and x so we have to first i am separating the variables and the numbers 2 plus 1 3 and we have 1 2 3 3x here again we have if this side is 2x plus 1 this side is also 2x plus 1 because in rectangle the opposite sides are equal now we have to write 2x plus 1 x 2x plus 1 x now we have to separate the variables and numbers so the numbers are 1 and 1 the remaining all are the variables 2x is also a variable because the number is having with the variable now we have to add 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 1, 6, 6x six plus 2. Now here we have to write the value of n in each question, then find the answer. 3 plus 2n, 3 plus 2n, n means 3, so 3 plus 2, 3, 2, 3 is 6, 6 plus 3, 9 same as it is we have to put the value of 3 here so i have solved all the questions with the same method we have to put the value of 3 in each question and then solve the question
here we have the question a kilogram of the vegetable cost dollar m and a kilogram of a fish is five times as much as a vegetable mrs lim bought two kgs of vegetable and one kg of fish how much did mrs lim spend all together so 2 multiplied by m plus 5 multiplied by m because she bought 2 kgs of vegetable and 5 times kilograms of vegetables so here we have 2 plus 5 is 7 and m mrs lim spent 7 m all together now we have to multiply 7 with 4 so here we have 7 multiplied by 4 because the cost of 1 kg of vegetable is 4 dollar so 7 m is 7 multiplied by 4 7 fours are 28 mrs lim spent 28 dollars all together number 5 is The length of the side of the triangle is x five, x two, and x three. Find the parameter of the triangle in terms of x. So we have, so we have to add all these numbers: eight x plus x two plus three x. So x one two three three x five plus eight five plus three eight eight plus two ten. So the total is three x plus ten. the value of x is 45 find the parameter of the triangle now we have the value of x is 45 so 3x plus 10 means 3 x means 45 plus 10 345 is equals to 35 is 15 3 4 12 12 1 13 13 10 145 135 plus 10 is 145 so the parameter of triangle is 145 now here we have the last page of chapter number 1 question number 6 is and had some ticket some stickers she gave wise stickers to each of her friend seven friends and had 12 stickers left find the numbers of stickers and had at first in terms of y so 12 plus 7y y is the numbers of stickers so 12 plus y is and had 12 plus y stickers at first now in number b each friend have nine stickers how many stickers did and have left so it means number of sticker y is 9 so 12 plus 7y means 12 Seven and y means nine. So we are going to write the nine in the place of the variable. So twelve seven nine the sixty three. Twelve plus sixty three is seventy five. And had seventy five stickers at first. Number seven is in a container. There are some marbles, blue, red, and green. There are twice as many marbles as red marble. There are three more green marbles and blue marbles. There are z red marbles. How many green marbles are there? So we simply write two z plus three because they are twice. And red marbles are z. So twice two z plus three green marbles. Three more. So three. 2z plus 3 is the numbers of green marble. Z is the variable we support. We supposed. Number B. There are 19 green marbles, so the number of green marble is 19. In the container, find the numbers of red marble. So 2z plus 3 is 19. We are going to separate the numbers. We take 3 here. So the sim addition becomes subtraction. Nineteen minus three is sixteen. Z here. Now this two will divide on the next side. Sixteen divided by two is eight. So there are eight red marbles.